Hello, and welcome back to another edition of Cake Tap Reviews. Uh, today on tap, we have Dogfish Head or Continent. This is a collaboration beer, much like the collaboration beer we did about, about a month ago now. It was a collaboration between Sierra Nevada and Dogfish Head. Well, here, uh, Dogfish Head is back um, with this one, and this time they partnered with, with Google. Yes, Google, the tech company. Um, they have an interesting story. Um, so what they did was they set up a website, and they asked Googlers or contributors from around the world uh, to select ingredients. So what they came up with was a list of hundreds and hundreds of ingredients. They narrowed them down to five. Those five are right here on the front. Uh, wattle seed, which is from Australia. Amaranth uh, from South America. Uh, Roibos, which is from Africa. Uh, Marika Gale from, uh, from Europe. And lastly, they also added honey. Uh, Google honey, might add. So um, it's, a, it's a Belgian double. It's 8% alcohol. And overall, you know, I, I, they have a good story online. They have a nice video on their website. Uh, they got me interested in the brew, so I've, I've been meaning to pick one up. I saw it in, in the uh, brew store, picked it up, and it was the last bottle. So this bottle I have bottled on, it says uh, 2012A, A, April, maybe. Hopefully it's that fresh. Um, so let's go ahead and get this open and see what uh, uh, Dogfish Head or Continent has for us. That is a dark brown, almost stout color with a minimal amount of head. That was probably half a finger's uh, worth of head on that glass there. Um, it's just a, an overall dark looking brew. Okay, so we have the beer poured. Um, I'm anxious to go ahead and see what this smells like. So let's pick it up here and give it a sniff. You know, Wow, you know, right off the front, you get this multi smell to it. It, it smells like a tame double. Um, I'm used to smelling, uh, and there's, uh, I'm used to smelling like very yeasty, um, uh, bready notes in my doubles. This, you could smell a chocolate. Yeah, right up front, there's that chocolate um, with some sweetness in there. Maybe, uh, maybe like a cherries or something. Maybe it's the honey. But yeah, that's what I smell. I smell nothing but malts and chocolate so let's go ahead and give this a taste and see what we come up with cheers okay at the first sip you get this very creamy which i love in doubles and in, in, in belgian beers in general you get this nice creamy coating of the palate love it then you get this this uh sweet multi flavor um Followed by in the back end like right now what I'm tasting and the aftertaste um, Is a smoky quality to it. So I guess it's from those that toasted uh, 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 Those toasted amaranth in here That is what I taste on the back end and then the aftertaste uh, But other than that what I really get is a chocolate multi uh, Taste from that there's a sweetness to it probably from the honey um, but in the end, it's just dominated by malt and chocolate. So overall, what would I give this beer? Um, I think this is a solid brew. Uh, being a Belgian ale lover as I am, I can't say that this really uh, went off center. Um, you know, the, the ingredients certainly did, the process certainly did, but the beer just fell a little short for me. I thought it was good. I, I, I just didn't think it was great. Now, um, I expected a lot. They had so many ingredients on the bottle. They had Dogfish Head. They had Google all in one collaborative effort. Awesome idea. It just didn't translate too well in the, in the actual beer. Um, so what I'm going to go ahead and give this is a B+. Again, this is not a bad brew. It isn't. But it's not a great brew. It's somewhere like the middle of the road. Um, it, it just doesn't stand out. And for the price I paid for this, I think it was like 12 bucks. I, I'm not sure if I would pay 12 bucks for this again. 
Um, but it's definitely a, a good beer. So again, that B plus uh, rating is what we're gonna go with here. And uh, you know, if if you like the, a, a chocolate malty eight percent a smoky on the back end beer, this is your uh, Belgian beer. So until next time, cheers. There's a lot of toasty, like smoky flavor going on in my mouth. Um, that sounds funny. There's a party in my mouth.